Hey everyone, welcome back to SG Car Mart. So we're here today at the Polestar showroom to preview the brand's latest model, the Polestar 3. So as the name would suggest, this is the third model from Polestar following the Polestar 1 and 2. So what is it? Well, it's an all-electric SUV that competes in an increasingly crowded and competitive segment. So let's go take a closer look at the car. So the Polestar 3 bears a very obvious Polestar design language, right? Sleek, scandy, minimalism. And we obviously have the smart zone here. So this is a cluster where you have your you know, cameras, radar, sensors, all that kind of thing. And we also have this little wing-like thing here at the front, and this is to help the car's aerodynamics. Now, in terms of size, this is a big car. So it's 4.9 meters long, over 2.1 meters wide, and has a wheelbase of close to 3 meters. However, this car has been designed to be not so tall, right? So this car is just over 1.6 meters tall, and I'm 1.7, and you can see it's clearly shorter than me. And this is to give the car its sporty silhouette. Again, the same minimalist aesthetic can be seen inside the car. So this car is designed to be premium, but also sustainable. So there is a focus on traceable materials as well as recycled materials. So for example, these carpets, they are made of recycled fishing nets. Now let's also quickly talk about this infotainment system. So it's built on the Android Automotive OS. So it has Google built in. And that means that you get access to a bunch of apps. So things like you can see here, Waze, Spotify, that's native to the car. So you don't actually need to connect your phone in any way. That's also helped by the fact that this car, you know, when it makes production, will support 5G internet. So there is an eSIM that will come with the car and you know, you have internet access all the time. One other cool feature I like about this car is the fact that it has a 25 speaker Bose and Wilkin system. So you get Dolby Atmos, you get really great sound and that's a nice cool feature. Now, some performance specs for this dual motor powertrain. So as standard, it's 360 kilowatts and 840 newton meters of torque. And you can also get more with the performance pack. So that's 380 kilowatts and 910 newton meters of torque. So, you know, this car is really built with performance in mind. Now, as far as range goes, Polestar quotes up to 610 km on the WLTP cycle for this 111 kWh battery. So that's on a standard model and a little bit less on the performance pack. And of course, the Polestar 3 will come with the full suite of assistance systems, safety systems, everything you could expect from Polestar. Now let's go check out another Polestar that is actually being launched today. Now, alongside the preview of the Polestar 3, there is a new car being launched here today, and that's this. So this is the MY24 Polestar 2. The car has been updated, and this particular one is the long-range dual motor variant, and is now offered with the performance pack as standard. So, a couple of design changes, right? So right at the front, we have the smart zone. So this is the new face of Polestar, and in it, there are a bunch of sensors, cameras, and radars as well. Now, one other change is that there is a new design on these performance wheels. Now, there are some important hardware updates as well. So this car has a new battery. It is now 82 kilowatt hours and supports charging at up to 205 kilowatts. And also, this car has new electric motors, right? So 350 kilowatts and 720 new, 740 newton meters of torque. And this is now also a rear bias system. And last thing, this car can be continuously updated via over-the-air updates. And how much is this car? Well, this long-range dual motor model is being sold at 196000 without COE and if the car is registered this year. And we understand that the single motor variant will be offered sometime later. So that's a quick preview of the Polestar 3 as well as a look at the MY24 Polestar 2 which we will be reviewing so stay tuned for that. In the meantime, thanks for watching. Do remember to like, share and subscribe to our channel and of course hit the notification bell so you will be alerted of all our upcoming videos and you can also check us out on TikTok at SGKarma. So yes, that's all I have. I'll see you soon. Bye!